Hey guys, today we are going to uh, show you how to basically make a balance cable out of your stock Zeno cable. Uh, I also have one for the uh, Hubson Storm and it's real simple to do. Um, most of y'all probably know how to do this already, I'm sure you do. Uh, because that's how I knew how to do it, somebody told me. Um, but for those of you who do not, and you are receiving a new Zeno with the Hubson charger, uh, the way you get that cable is basically, let's try to get it in my hand here, basically this is what you're getting. So it connects to the Hubson charger and to your battery, and it's not your uh, typical balance uh, balance charge. This is a balance connection, but um, from what I've found on te the testing each of the cells, the, ba the Hubson charger just doesn't do it. And um, when I go with my IMAX B6, uh, everything is fine. So uh, I always prefer to use this because it's safer. Uh, it doesn't heat up and I think it's better for the battery plus I can put my battery in storage mode. So basically all you're doing in this case I like to cut the wires in half uh, that way I can get a piece of heat shrink over top of it. You don't have to do it that way you can simply just strip the wires and then solder there and then wrap it with electrical tape um, here's another product that I use. I use li uh, liquid tape. Um, that's good, but it can peel off. That's I, I like this more so in circuit board uh, repairs and waterproofing, uh, some wiring, stuff like that. Um, but you can do it this way. So that's just one way. But I like to cut my wires, put a piece of heat shrink over there. And then once I'm done, I can just slide the heat shrink over and cover up my wires. It shrinks with heat and uh, contains everything real nice. Nice and tight just like you see right here. So how to do this you simply like I said you just want to get your positive and your negative which are on this one here on the outside. So then you've got your banana cable. It's just a cable with the banana plugs on one side. Then all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be soldering the red to the red, the black to the black. So I'm going to do that now and uh, pause this and then I'll come back and show it to you once I've done that. Okay so now you can see uh, I've got the soldering done and I've got the heat shrink on it and I like to use a longer cable uh, because what you have here is it's just a little it does doesn't give as much but this is just to show you how to do it so um, you can buy longer cables all these are are um, extension cables so you have the male and female on each end and you can get these in different lengths this just happens to be the shorter ones that I have that I haven't used. Um, but I use a gun, a heat gun, to heat my uh, heat shrink up instead of a lighter. So all you do, let's move the battery. All you do, heat it up. See it's tightening up. And that's that. So now you have a cable that you can take your take your storm in this case your storm battery 
that's the battery for the storm. Plug it into here the right way. So I have it plugged in there. Get rid of this one. And you simply keep these apart. That's the other thing. You want to keep these apart. I've got these little covers. I always keep on top of the positive. Um, you don't want to be touching these two together because you will get an arc. You'll short it out. So plug those in. Get this stuff out of the way. And simply plug into the charger. And for this battery, uh, the setting that you want to use, it's a 7.6, not a 7.4. So if you have the IMAX B6 um, uh, version 2, you have the LIHV option when you charge. You can charge it as a regular LiPo, but if you charge it, charge it at the LIHV, um, you can, you'll get the full capacity charge. Uh, and doing it this way, you get the proper balance charge. Uh, like I said, the Hubson charger, it works, um, but I don't like any of their chargers at all. They take longer. Um, that w when you test your cells, I think I have one sitting around here somewhere. Uh, my little tester, where'd I put it? Uh, when you check your, your cells, I use this, this one right here. Uh, it tells you what each cell is balanced at. And um, when I do that using the Hubson charger, they're just not balanced real good. Um, they're too far off for my liking. And like I said, that charger gets so hot, um, I don't think it's safe. Um, I've had two, two members in my group uh, that I can recall that uh, theirs have smoked really badly. And um, uh, that can cause a fire, obviously. So if you can stay away from that and do something like this, uh, still, of course, you want to usually put these in a protected fireproof bag or some something. Um, I have a mat uh, that I normally use that's a fireproof welding mat. You can hold a torch to it. It will not burn. Um, I usually just charge on top of that down here in my basement uh, on a concrete floor. Uh, if I want to charge several batteries up to go fly. So that's how you hook up the storm battery to your charger. Put the cover on there. I'm just leaving it hooked up because I'm going to actually charge that when I'm done. But same exact thing I did here with the Hubson cable. I actually cut the cable right in half and then I took my red and my black and then you still have uh, two more uh, wires in there and if I recall they are white and green maybe white and blue I think white and blue but anyhow uh, you connect to your your red and black wires and uh, double check I, I double check with a meter the polarity to make sure I'm on the right wires and that they are the positive and negative like the plug says uh, you definitely want to double check that and uh, once you have verified that they are the positive and negative uh, which in this case they are uh, you just simply solder your wires put slide your heat shrink up and then you shrink it with heat obviously and you get this. So then all you have to do is plug into the charger first. It's recommended so you don't hit the wires together. And then plug that in like that. Slide that over. And then you go, right now I have it set for the, I have this set for the uh, storm battery, but you go and set your, your settings to match this battery. And uh, if you, like I said, if you have the IMAX B6 version 2, then you have the um, LIHV setting, which is a high voltage LiPo. And uh, you'll be able to charge this at its full capacity. You'll be able to balance it better. And you'll be able to, most importantly, 
uh, put it in storage mode so you can prolong the life of this battery. So hopefully this video has helped you. Um, it uh, definitely is a faster charge. Uh, the Hubson charger takes forever. So if you're going to fly your quad and you have two or three batteries with the Hubson charger, you better definitely charge them the night before. Um, this one cuts that time down pretty good and that's charging at the correct rate. Um, you can always charge them at a little higher rate from time to time. I don't recommend you do that every single time you charge. But these are the balance cables and all you need is to buy the banana clip or banana plugs and a extension. Here I do have I didn't want to use this one because I didn't want to waste it yet. But this is a longer one compared to that short one. So you can get these long in longer lengths and uh, that's usually what I get but I ordered short ones by mistake and just still have them laying around. But uh, that's all it takes. Just hooking your positive and negative and uh, giving that uh, uh, using um, banana connections to work with an IMAX B6 or whatever your hobby grade charger is. So I hope that helped you out and if you have any questions please feel free to comment. Thanks.